Welcome everyone. I'm back y'all with another video. So let's get into a collective read. Let's get the message for today. This is for all signs, so take what resonates and leave the rest. What message do you have for the collective, please? Ooh, we got the Five of Swords. We got the Five of Swords here. And at the bottom, we got the Seven of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. I feel like somebody is worried or stressed out that someone is lying, being deceptive, cheating. Possibly with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or maybe you're a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Like I said, this message isn't going to resonate with everyone. Take what applies. I feel like there has been some type of ending and communication, like uh, communication has been cut off. Let's see. I want to see. Somebody here is like feeling... Five of Swords is conflict or competition, but this person in this is just looking like, oh, oh my God, like, please. They got all these black crows around them. They got five black crows around them. This is somebody who feels defeated. You got this person back here in the back who's like, yeah, yeah, I, I won, I won. You got this person here like, man, oh, my life. <laughs> Somebody could be in competition. Tell me more. The King of Wands. Somebody could be competing or in competition possibly with the fire sign. Could be over a male. Okay. He could be fine as hell. Take it as it resonates. If it's a female, then fem feminine energy. But this person could be very handsome, very charming. But the thing about it is, this person could possibly be married. We got the Hierophant. Somebody here is like patiently waiting for somebody to give them a sign or give them a heads up about something. Okay, tell me more. I'm getting this competition over a man. Somebody's fighting over a man. For a woman. Page of Swords. There's some spying going on. There's some spying going on. Yeah, this is some drama. We got the Magician and the Ten of Cups. And the Ace of Cups. Somebody's trying to make themselves look better. Somebody could be really spiritual. It could be you guys that somebody looks is very spiritual. We got the high priestess and the empress. And somebody's afraid also to look like a fool. Somebody intuitively knows like this situation ain't even ain't even I'm not about to be stuck in no, situa no situation like this because I'm not about to be looking like no fool. On the other hand, somebody over here is trying to make, make the relationship look better to other people on the outside. Why is the Five of Swords here? Nine of Swords. This per Somebody over here stressed the hell out over a relationship. Ten of Pentacles. To a sword, somebody doesn't know where they stand. Also, somebody is definitely really actually in actuality, somebody is extremely burdened. Could be about finances. Okay. 
But I'm getting lots of stress. Somebody's stressed out, and I feel like it could be over a, a male or a female. And there's a lot of spying going on. Okay, both of these cards came out. We got the King of Cups and the Four of Cups. Somebody is is uninterested. Somebody don't don't give a damn. Somebody don't give a damn, and somebody care too much. Somebody's acting like they don't give a damn. That just flew out. It could be a water sign because we got the Four of Cups and the King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Tell me about this uh, Page of Swords. Six of Cups. So somebody is looking at something or someone from their past. Somebody is on a break from someone from the past that they walked away from. Tell me more about this past energy. Why is the Six of Cups here? Knight of Swords. Why is the Six of Cups? Seven of Cups. Somebody is spying on somebody from their past. Or there's multiple people from their past that somebody is spying on. Could be a Capricorn here. We got the devil. We got the devil here. This shit is toxic. Okay. Eight of Wands. Two of Wands. The Chariot. Okay. Somebody knows that the situation is toxic, but they're choosing to continue to move forward. Why is this King of Wands here? Six of Pentacles. Ooh. Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Somebody is giving this masculine energy or feminine energy money and is stressing. Really, this person is. Uh, woo. Somebody's giving this masculine money. To appease him or her. Okay. Five of Pentacles. This person ain't got shit. This person ain't got shit. But you may have a lot going on. This person wants you to give them either your energy. Maybe you're giving this person all of your energy. All of your good energy. This person could be an energy vampire. But this person got some damn secrets. We got the moon here. Queen of Wands. Pisces. I'm sorry. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Three of Cups. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Somebody is stuck. King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Strength, Leo, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the World, King of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Okay. Somebody feels like if this person, this other party doesn't give, give, to the situation, like give them gifts or give them uh, what they ask for. They feel like the person is being selfish. Could be a king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This king of pentacles is over here having regrets with this five of cups. They're having regrets. We got the death card and the judgment. A situation ending for good. Okay. Could be a marriage. The higher fit here. They feel like they should have waited uh, with the seven of wands, but they moved forward. They kept. It's like somebody's keeping something going. Somebody's keeping something going, but really has regrets. It's like somebody's just playing along at this point. Somebody's dealing with an energy vampire for sure. Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. It's like this this drama just doesn't end. 
That's why it's stressful. It's like the drama just doesn't end. It's like it just doesn't stop. Somebody does not know where they stand. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. A Libra Gemini Aquarius could be involved. Five of Wands. It's that competition. Some of you are in a situation that you feel defeated. I'm definitely picking up defeated energy. Um, feelings of being stuck in a situation like you're giving more to the situation than the other person. There's definitely some competition here with this five of wands here. Why is the five of wands here? It's like someone keeps popping up. King of cups, five of cups, king of pentacles. Somebody feels regretful here. It's like somebody's financial situation is coming to a close. This person is sitting around waiting on a victory. Waiting on their moment to shine. Tell me about the past. What happened in the past? Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords. There was some type of heartbreak or sorrow in the past. Some of you found out the truth. Could be in regards to a Capricorn here. Eight of Wands. Communication. This Earth, this Capricorn could have been communicating um, with other people. You found out the truth. Why is the Ace of Swords here? You found out that this person was toxic. You found out that this person was juggling. Could have been living two separate lives. Okay. Seven of Swords. They was out here being deceptive. Possibly with the Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They was out here juggling. So the situation is stressful. I feel like a lot of you guys feel overwhelmed. You feel overwhelmed. Why is the, uh, what's the future energy? The lovers. Gemini could be involved. We got the seven of pentacles and the sun. A Leo could be involved. A Libra could be involved with the justice card here. I feel like you're waiting a situation out. I just kind of see like waiting for better days. I'm trying to find a balance in the connection with the two of cups here. I'm here and talk it out because you love this person. You still you care about this person. Why is the lovers here? The high priestess. You, I feel like some of y'all know that this person is a cheater. Some of y'all know this person's flaws. Y'all know that this person is a thief, a liar, manipulative. You know that they sneaky as hell. You know this about this person already. It's like that ain't nothing new. That's nothing new to you. Um, you're kind of waiting it out to see how things are going to work out. Um, your guard is most definitely up. And it could be involving like your finances with the King of Pentacles here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I'm getting somebody is having major regrets or crying over spilled milk here because somebody is trying to show their strength here. Could be a Leo involved, trying to have the courage to keep moving forward and having patience with this person. Maybe you're married to this person. Um, it's like. Closing this chapter, I mean, I don't really feel like a lot of you want to close the chapter. You may want to, but I don't feel like any action is being made to close the chapter at this point in time. I feel like you're focused on the love that you have for this person. Um, it's like there's good days with the Nine of Pentacles and there's bad days. Um, and I feel like a lot of y'all just going to stick beside them. Why do I have priestess here? The King of Pentacles, 
Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Really, really heavy in this. Uh, really heavy in this reading. And then we got the sun. Leo's energy. Now we got the king of swords, knight of pentacles, ten of pentacles, two of swords. I feel like someone could be behaving. It's like one minute that's serious and then things start slowing down. Um, some of you have been with this person for a really long time. Y'all been together for a long time. But you're not sure where this is headed. You're not you you're uncertain of uh what's going on because this person is in and out all the time, leaving you disappointed, making you feel low, maybe is you know, put taking a toll on your esteem. Someone here, you may feel like this person doesn't want this connection or doesn't want to be married. For some of you that are married, maybe some of you feel like a fool for accepting this, for accepting this type of behavior from this person um, and sticking around. Because I feel like you know this person, you know this person with the moon and the seven of swords here, you know this person ain't shit. You know this person is uh, have secrets and things to hide. And a lot of you may not be, uh, you know, not speaking about it, not being open about it. You're just kind of trying to work it out um, and wait it out. But at the same time, a lot of you got guys' guard is up. I feel like some of y'all just trying to tough it out. You feel like this is, a, um, you know, when they say, when the people say, oh, you got your good days and you got your bad days. You feeling like this is one, just one of those days. Like this is just, this is a cycle that we're going through. It gets better. It gets better. The spirit could be telling some of y'all, it's time to close this chapter. Okay. This, some of this, some of this, some of this stuff ain't even worth, ain't even worth it. Okay. So that's the message that I got for you guys. Um, if this message resonates with you, but you know what, before I go, let me pull some advice. I'm going to pull one card for advice. Let's see if I can, if I have the, the deck out here. I don't have the deck that I'm looking for, but we can still make it do what it do. Let's get some from here. We'll go. We'll use this. We'll use the Oracle here. I really use this deck. This is still pretty much like a brand new deck here. All right, so give me a message for the collective, please. Give me advice for the collective. I'm telling you, spirit ain't playing. Now at the bottom, it say. Psst. Hey, you. <laughs> Spirit is saying abracadabra, okay? Like, it's like magic. Leaping in love is the second one and brand spanking new. A lot of y'all need to get rid of this energy, okay? And hop in something new. Uh, for, for, I just, for a lot of you, I'm, I'm getting like a lot of you are already taking that leap of faith. Like, I, you, would, you would be gone just like that. Tell me more about abracadabra. At your service and a heartbeat. Didn't I say? <laughs> didn't I say? Drop them like it ain't nothing. Like that. Leaping in love. This is a new beginning. The dude abides. All right, now we got brand spanking new. 
Spirit is saying, get you somebody that want to play by your rules, okay? Like, that play the game fair. Love is a gamble sometimes. And you got to know when to get out. Brand spanking new, okay? Time to fly, baby. Time to fly. It's time for some of you. This chapter, it's an old story. Like, it's an old story. I feel like a lot of y'all already know what type of person y'all dealing with. Like, the story old. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's time for something new. All right, so that's the message that I got for y'all. If it resonates, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I'm going to chat with y'all later.